in China, he was trained in China, he came to the United States. All the reasons immigrants come to the United States, for freedom, for opportunity, and then against all odds, the 2008 Olympics took place in China. So it was an extraordinarily emotional time for Dave to go back and play table tennis in the Olympics at his home country, in his home country. So why don't we let David tell you a little bit about that experience? Wow, that many people. <laughs> so first of all, I want to say thank you, Dan, and uh, the, the principal here, right? And uh, give us the opportunity to show table tennis. Not ping pong, right? Table tennis. Right? So uh, it's a great honor for me to, to, to show up in this, uh, this uh, such a, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys know about this game, right? Uh, basically, yeah, Dan just told you that, told you guys, this is my this year is my third time to represent a great country uh, to show up in the Olympic stage. Okay, and uh, all I can tell you, my personal experience is that uh, when you put up the, the uniform with this uniform and show up in the Olympics, that. Uh, that's a great experience, right? Yeah, and uh, um, I, uh, my first one show up. My first, uh, my first Olympic experience was '96 in Atlanta, right? And uh, I still remember that when you march into the, the opening ceremony, and uh, you, you no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, can you imagine that when you march in and the whole stadium, you know, more than hundred thousand people just cheering for you, you know, that feeling just put you like, wow, everything just works it, right? So, of course, uh, uh, it's not one day or one year to put you up there, right? So it's just like the other field. So, uh, as an athlete, especially like a professional athlete, so you have to put up a lot of time, a lot of effort to get up there. So uh, today, we use this opportunity, we want to show you some uh, the table tennis skill. So hopefully you uh, get into this sport. <laughs> How did it feel for you to go back to China and play in the Olympics this summer? Wasn't that very special? Oh yeah, <laughs> very good question. Actually, I, I told a lot of the reporter about this. Uh, because my background, I grew up in China when I came to this country when I was 27 years old. And uh, I told you guys, uh, my first Olympic was 96. At that time, it was my pick. I right? uh, talk about the, the age while and the experience while. At that time, it was my, 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 my best time in my career. So uh, I expect I was right there, you know. And uh, this year, if not the Olympics, if not in, in, in Beijing or in China, I don't think I, I put up that much effort to, to, to try to make it. So, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm the only man in Beijing this year. Was it, was it very emotional for you to come back and play in China? Actually, yes. Uh, when I... I was there and played my first match, the only match, unfortunately, you know, and uh, actually, uh, that's, a, that's a single match, it's best, best of uh, seven. I don't know how many people watch my match. <laughs> so, actually, I had a great chance to be the great player. Uh, I was up 1-0 and he caught up 1-1, I was up 2-1, he won the fourth game, 2-2, two, two. I won the fifth. 3-2, at that, at that time, my table was the only table the match still played. And all the Chinese, they call, my, they call my Chinese name and just tell me, come on, come on, you can do it. And also say, come on, welcome home, welcome home. At that time, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't concentrate myself. Although I'm experienced enough, I need it. Especially table tennis is so fast, right? And, and there's so much uh, uh, strategy get involved. So you need to very focus. But at that time, I couldn't focus. So, uh, no, it was sweet. <laughs> yeah, so. All right, thank you, David. All right.
David has had an extraordinary career in table tennis in the United States and abroad. He's a three-time United States Olympian. Olympic team, and believe it or not, he's well over 40 years old, and he beat a lot of 20 something So you have to be in fantastic shape, have incredible reflexes, and be one of the best players out there. Uh, David was trained in China, and maybe I want to have him tell you quietly, tell you a little bit about his Olympic experience in China, because think about what it means. Think about what it meant for David. David was born in China. Now we're going to have David and Peter give a little demonstration. Uh, and uh, just uh, one little thing while they're warming up. Table tennis has changed uh, little by little over the years. I don't know if any of you know, but games are played to 11 now, not 21. They haven't been played to 21 since the year 2000. Also, the ball size has been increased to 40 millimeters to slow the game down a little bit and to make it more telegenic, meaning to say, easy to see on TV. I'm going to up a little bit because this table, frankly, isn't uh, the best it could be. The net was, was really warped and we had to improvise and tie it up a little bit to, to make it close to regulation. And this table, I don't know if you, you guys know, this is a Kettler table. It's an outdoor aluminum table. It's not the table that most players are usually playing on. It's usually about an inch thick.